Hey guys, so Samsung has officially announced the Galaxy S7 finally and uh, you know Mark Zuckerberg was also there so you know you you guys probably know about the S7 you know even even a non-tech fan uh, also knows about the announcement of the S7 so uh, this is how the Galaxy S7 looks like it is now more of like a mini Note 5 in terms of design uh, and it's also uh, it resembles a lot as compared to the last year's Galaxy S6 and uh, from the back you can see everything seems to be pretty much the same. The camera is not uh, bulging out that much as compared to the last year. It's now more embedded into the back and uh, also of course this is the Galaxy S6 as you can see here uh, which is having a same 5.1 inch display uh, quad HD resolution so definitely uh, there is no uh, changing in that, uh, but you can see it's it's a uh, little bit more like a Note 5 uh, screen, you know, from the edge. Uh, I mean, they they did included the the edged effect even on the normal S7 variant, you know, a little bit edged effect like we have on the new Galaxy A series, the A7 2016. So uh, I personally do have all those phones. So yeah, I know that it, it feels cool, and you can see from the back. It really looks like a mini Note 5 now and it's also powerful when it comes to you know internal specs so we're going to talk about the full specs sheet also so this is the Galaxy S7 uh, also comes with the micro SD card support uh, for storage expansion which is really good because Samsung will only going to make a 32 gigabyte Galaxy S7 variant uh, I've seen on some some news that there will be uh, no 64 gigabyte variant uh, but I don't know if that's finally true you know uh, is that final or not but uh, but they are making this decision so you're gonna get 32 gigabyte of Intel memory and all of that almost 21 or 22 will be available for user and uh, but the micro SD card uh, slot option is really a uh, good thing that Samsung did it finally because with the marshmallow you can actually turn your SD card storage into your internal storage so that's pretty awesome so you can um, you can hop in some like uh, something like a 128 gigabyte SD card and make it your internal memory so that is pretty nice so you can you know have more and more memory without spending that much money so you can see here looking really good and also they changed the UI uh, we have Android 6.0.1 uh, especially with the Galaxy S7 Edge here so I'm going to uh, put the links down below for the uh, sources so you, this is courtesy of phonon.com so you can check that out uh, so this is how the S7 Edge looks like now it's 5.5 compared to the 5.1 uh, from the last year uh, looking really dope and uh, I mean I'm, I'm really uh, into the S7 Edge here uh, for this year because you know I, I I didn't bought the Galaxy S6 Edge so this time I'm gonna get these two phones without any uh, hesitation so and you can see here looking really nice uh, the back is finger magnet you can see here um, definitely uh, that's uh, a thing here so you might have to use like a case with it so still have the gloss uh, type of uh, look here on the back and metallic uh, on the sides of course, with the S7 Edge, you have uh, the metallic things on the bottom and sides, the glass uh, edging, and of course, it's really premium. I mean, uh, people are, you know, I, I've seen some people they are they are saying on internet that uh, that Galaxy S7 will have so will going to ha face some problems because of you know iPhone. Uh, because you know iPhone is more simpler, uh, simpler, simpler to use, uh, more good in terms of you know optimization, all that. Uh, so I mean. The the only thing why the iPhone is more attractive is because of its looks. Now every phone out there, even the LG G5, finally is now premium. You know all these phones, all these high-end phones. You spend money five hundred dollar plus on a phone. Even the mid-range from from Samsung have extremely nice build quality. So I mean, definitely uh, that's the thing that that Apple had. So now, which is now common in all phones. So. So the only thing that I want from the iPhone 7 is to be more of innovative or otherwise Galaxy S7 will going to win because there are a lot of new things here especially the camera uh, which has f1.7 aperture size which is just killer you know if you have watched my 
uh, other videos, you know, uh, where I talked about, you know, uh, the announcement, you know, MWC 2016 announcement. So they actually compared a picture, a, a night picture against uh, the iPhone 6S and the results were really nice on the S7. So let's talk about the specs here in more detail. So of course Gorilla Glass 5 is uh, on the back and of course on the front. So it's going to be really good. Um, uh, it's going to be really fun to test out it, it, its durability. So I really want to do a drop test, some, a drop test or something like that. And also, uh, if we talk about the display, you can see here 5.1 inch for the normal Galaxy S7 and the 5.5 inch for the Galaxy S7 Edge. Uh, Quad HD 1440 by 2560 Gorilla Glass 5. Always on display feature here, which will of course going to display time and your notification count and this is like you know more of a battery friendly feature also we have Android 6.0 bring one marshmallow and there will be two variants of the S7 and the S7 Edge one will be a Qualcomm uh, Snapdragon 820 variant and other one will be the Exynos 8890 uh, regardless of what chips that you get you'll get uh, much much better performance compared to the S6 if you talk about the percentage the Galaxy S7 is actually 30% faster as compared to the Galaxy S6 uh, when it comes to CPU performance and it's almost almost uh, like almost like 60% faster in terms of GPU performance. It also has a new um, API which is a lot more better than the OpenGL so you're gonna get some console quality stuff. There's some game launcher stuff where you know where you can uh, have like uh, online scores and all that you know there, like the Apple has this uh, iPhone has this game center so now there's gonna be game launcher on Samsung phones so that's gonna be pretty damn awesome and also these Galaxy phones are waterproof so it will be fun to do some water tests, some liquid tests and all that. Um, also you can see here 12 megapixel camera with f1.7 aperture size. So you can see here uh, definitely uh, those people who don't have any knowledge about tech they will say that the camera is like a downgrade but in reality it's not about megapixel it's actually about the aperture size or sensor size so this will definitely going to increase the performance much much better almost 50 percent more better performance as compared to the s6 when it comes to the low light performance i'm really impressed by that and uh, also optical image stabilization is there uh, front camera has this uh, one one by 2.6 sensor uh, which also seems to be bigger as compared to the last year um, you know which is the of course if you take a look here at front camera f1.7 it's the same as the back camera sensor so you get much more better selfies also in low light also has auto HDR and uh, you get 4k video recording capabilities that is pretty damn awesome something that we don't have on the phones like Huawei Mate 8 which is the flagship phone from Huawei and uh, also Bluetooth 4.2 and all that kind of stuff is there um, and uh, and still it is listed here micro USB 2.0 meaning there's no USB type C I don't know if that's confirmed but here it says it has USB 2.0 uh, which is of course I haven't seen anywhere else you know someone talking about the USB type C LG G5 has USB type C USB 3.0 type C but this is, you know, seems like it's there. There's no Type C on the S7, maybe. Uh, but it can be wrong here because this is GSM Marina we're looking at, and uh, of course the phone is just like uh, 20 or 25 minutes uh, was announced 20 or 25 minutes ago. So yeah, it will be. It will take some time to accurate to you know uh, to correct the, these uh, these mistakes if they have made it. And also lastly, we have 3,000 milliamp hours of battery and these awesome colors, black, white gold and silver so I'm looking forward to the gold variant um, and uh, also I might get like white variant no uh, I'm gonna get the gold one because gold is like my main uh, favorite uh, favorite color uh, when it comes to buying phones and also one thing here that you can see that this GPU with the Exynos variant you get Meli T880 MP12 which means it is a 12 core GPU insane insane stuff Samsung ah this is amazing I mean this GPU is inside of mate 8 but in the form of quad core so you're gonna get ton of better uh, performance when it comes to the gaming uh, as compared to the mate 8 that's for sure and also this one has the the new s7 series have 4 gigs of RAM which is also a nice upgrade from the last year's 3 gigs of RAM but if they haven't you know uh, haven't uh, corrected the 
the RAM management issue, then this four gb four gb of RAM is just a is just a waste, you know. So I really hope that they have optimized all those kind of stuff, and I love it that the, that they made it dust proof and water resistant, so you can it can survive up to 1.5 meter uh, for 30 minutes. So really amazing stuff, and coming soon, March 11 will be the announcement or or yeah it's the release date and the price will be of course above seven hundred dollars from 650 to 750 dollars in between i'm really looking forward to both of these two phones so make sure you stay subscribed if you have already subscribed and if you're new then please click the red button down below and uh, also today is of course february 22nd because yeah it's it's february 22nd now so yeah it's it's pretty damn close uh, you know just like two weeks or or two weeks or some days then we will see the galaxy s7 yes baby i'm really excited and i will catch you guys in my next video peace out